After doing the required practical in A-level, where you measure Young's modulus, we were using copper for one of the groups. And, well, it's all been permanently deformed by the experiment, so the copper can't really be used for anything else now. I suppose it could be recycled, but well, there's not a lot of it here. And I started thinking to myself, well, can it melt? Can we melt this over a Bunsen? Well, let's find out. I suppose safety first, make sure the holes are shut. It's on a heat proof mat. Turn the gas on. I'm gonna use two Bunsens because then I might be able to get the thing hotter. Two Bunsens. A little is good, more must be better. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put these on roaring flames. Roaring flames. With a tripod over the top, like that. And I'm just gonna place the copper right in the middle. Don't have one of those fancy melting dish things. Not a chemist, but this will do. The Bunsen burner underneath will be heating it from underneath. And I'm gonna take another Bunsen burner and I'm gonna do this from the top. See if I can melt it. Let's come in and have a look. So the first thing is, you can see it is becoming corroded. It's got much darker now. In fact, let's move the camera even closer. That'll be better. So you can see it's got much darker. Hopefully my camera doesn't overheat now. Nice. You expect to see it start glowing soon as it gets hotter. Ah, I seem to be able to burn off the corrosion layer, the oxide layer. Look at that, I seem to be able to burn that off. Ah, now it's starting to glow. But that looks like pure copper there. And now it's starting to glow. Oh, I can start to see bits of it melting. The flame that's coming off it has got a little bit of a greeny colour to it. Get it in just the right place, it flows really nicely. And you can start to see it melting. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up. It's just come up on my camera to say, camera's too hot. 
video quality may be reduced. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, you really see the blue flames licking off it when you get it in just the right place. Oh, it's actually splattering. I'm getting liquid copper splatters. Look at that. Turn these off. Oops. Took me a while to get it in just the right place, but yeah, that's starting to cool down now. That has undeniably melted. I'm not going to touch it yet because it will definitely melt the plastic pen onto it. Undeniable. Let's let it cool down a bit and then we'll take it off. Still be quite hot, but let's just see if we can uh, get it off there. There we are, look. That's what it looks like. It's like some of the bottom of this, don't know what it is, not asbestos. Some of the bottom of this uh, gauze has come off on it. I touch it, see how hot it is. Ah, no, it's still really hot. Ah, 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 ow, ow, oh, ow, hot. Yep, still way too hot. But I suppose I need to sand it down because it, it has got this gray layer on it, so you can't see that it's copper. Let me get something to sand it down with. All right, there we go. Let's move all this out of the way. And I'll sand this thing down, so. All right, can you see underneath where I'm sanding it? You can start to see it's copper colored and shiny. Get in focus. Let's move the camera. There we go. So I can sand this just like that. Take off. Maybe I'll hold it this way and do it this way. Take off the layer of copper oxide. And what we're left with underneath is the little blob of copper metal. So as long as you get the Bunsen burners in the right position, you can get them hot enough to melt copper. But what else will melt? That's the question. I'm going to try some other stuff now. I suppose that could be recycled now, but not much use for that tiny little ball of copper. Maybe I'll give it away as a prize or something. Don't swallow it. Really bad idea. <laughs> 